And Congressman Brendan Boyle, Democrat from Pennsylvania, Hillary Clinton supporter. Congressman, let's uh, let's start with that ad there. There's some new polling out. It shows that voters right now give Donald Trump a nine point advantage over Hillary Clinton when it comes to to trust in handling uh, government. Uh, he has an eight point lead when it comes to honesty and trustworthiness. Why hasn't your candidate been able to do more over the course of this campaign to close that trust gap? Well, uh, first, good to be, uh, be back with you, Craig. Uh, it's amazing to me that a candidate who has broken a complete norm in American politics that had always been accepted, that you would release your tax returns, is somehow ahead in the polls when it comes to trustworthy and honesty, or that a candidate that is probably the least experienced and knowledgeable about government to be nominated by a major party since 1940 is actually leading in that category. So I, I just simply disagree with the poll results. And in the end, I think part of the reason why he will lose is because enough swing voters will determine it just wouldn't be responsible to put someone like Donald Trump in the Oval Office. So it, it sounds like you're saying that you don't you don't believe the numbers, but you do believe that there, there may be enough voters out there who say, yeah, OK, maybe Donald Trump is a little bit more honest than her, but I still don't trust the guy. Yeah, I think in the it depends on how you define trust. I think that there's been so much of a focus on Hillary Clinton for 25 years. It's not too surprising that her numbers wouldn't be great in this area. But I think when someone looks at the question in terms of who do you trust to do the job, yeah. I think she scores much more highly on that. And I think he scores probably lower than any other person the Republicans could have nominated. Your state, uh, actually your congressional district, getting a great deal yes. of attention here over the next few days, as you know. Uh, Hillary Clinton right now, depending on the poll, if you look at pretty much an average of these polls, uh, her lead there, three points, maybe four points. Uh, she had a 12-point lead just a month ago on Monday night in Philadelphia. The president, you'll see the first lady, you'll see Hillary Clinton, you'll see uh, Chelsea, you'll see Bill Clinton. Um, how real is the worry that Pennsylvania is, is going to go red on Tuesday? You know, Craig, last time I, I was on your show, um, I predicted two things. First, I said the Eagles would have a good season. You laughed at me. I was right <laughs> about that. And then the second thing, the second thing is that I said uh, that I thought Pennsylvania would be close, that I thought we would mirror the national popular vote. And even when it got up to 10, 12 points, I thought some folks on my side were being a little, little too exuberant. And now that it's tightened, uh, I'm not really surprised. I always thought we were about a four point, five point state. We were four points, uh, that, or we were five points four years ago in 2012. Yeah. Um, I think though in the end, what will make the difference really is the, the area that I represent, part of the city and also suburban Philadelphia. Trump is so badly underperforming what a typical Republican nominee gets in suburban Philadelphia, where, by the way, about uh, 20 to 25 percent of the population of the entire state yeah. uh, resides. Uh, with those kind of numbers in such a big area, and then when you combine it with the city, it's 35 percent of statewide voters where he's just getting absolutely hammered. It's hard to see him do so well in Western PA that he would make that up. Congressman Brendan Boyle, um, always appreciate your insight. Always enjoy your perspective, right. sir. Go Eagles? No, not go, go Eagles. Go Eagles, that's right. Uh, good to see you. Good <laughs> luck there next week. Good to see you. In less than right, 100 hours to Election Day, no shortage of polling. Where do the candidates stand? How natural is the contest tightening that we keep talking about? We've got the best in the